Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline, Trump focuses on Florida, and more. Today is Thursday, November 3rd, and this is the Morning Report. President Barack Obama says the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is examining whether the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline can be rerouted in southern North Dakota to alleviate the concerns of American Indians. Obama tells the online news outlet, Now This, that his administration is monitoring the situation closely, but will let it play out for several more weeks. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe worries that the $3.8 billion pipeline from North Dakota to Illinois will threaten its drinking water and destroy sacred sites. Protests that have included clashes with police have gone on for several months in North Dakota. Obama calls it a challenging situation. He says there's an obligation for protesters to be peaceful and for authorities to show restraint. The 1,200-mile pipeline is largely complete outside of North Dakota. Hillary Clinton is pressing into reliably Republican Arizona as she tries to steal a state away from Donald Trump. Her rival, reinvigorated by the FBI's new email review, is laser-focused on Florida, a marquee battleground state he can't win the White House without. With less than a week until Election Day, both candidates are warning of dire consequences if the other is elected. Trump says Clinton would be under investigation as president, sparking a constitutional crisis, though the FBI has declined to prosecute her for handling of classified information. Clinton has vowed the FBI will have no case after reviewing new emails, but her campaign is nervous about tightening polls and ramping up attacks on Trump, hoping to scare away voters who could still be persuaded to back him. Always important in presidential contests, Florida has emerged as this year's most crucial state on the road to the 270 electoral college votes needed to win the White House. Trump can't win without carrying Florida, meaning Clinton can deliver a knockout blow if she captures its 29 electoral votes. At first glance, one could be forgiven if they thought the black bus was another political campaign bus making another campaign stop in an election cycle that's felt at times like a scene out of Groundhog Day. But the bus sitting in front of the Naples Zoo on Tuesday while it was campaigning wasn't trying to get votes or win an election. It was for the Everglades. The Everglades Foundation visited Naples as part of a 12-day tour promoting their Now or Never Glades pledge, one which asks lawmakers to purchase land south of Lake Okeechobee to restore natural water flows and reduce ecologically damaging freshwater discharges down estuaries. You can find out more information at NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.